Lawrence is a mixed bag of emotions. Yo folks, what's good? Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 5 review so let's get things rolling. At first we see Rich 10 express fear over the letter they received, worried about the consequences if they don't withdraw from the deal with Medeo Trading. Lawrence argues that Medeo Trading will likely send Hollow to the church regardless. Rich 10 fears the church's interference if they shelter Hollow and is unsure where to hide her. Lawrence suggests leaving town, but Rich Ten dismisses the idea. He explains why Cash won't resolve the issue and laments the lack of a trump card. Rich Ten suggests reporting Medeo trading for sheltering Hollow but acknowledges Lawrence's potential betrayal. Lawrence then asks about the privilege they would gain from the trainee king. I was completely caught off guard by Lawrence's sudden composure because in the last episode he was panicking really hard, but it shows that he can get a hold of his emotions even in tough situations. Also it seems Richin is far more rational than I gave him credit for in my last review. We see Rich Ten and Lawrence discuss the financial struggles of the royal family, agreeing that the current market conditions contribute to it. Lawrence explains how the family's short-term benefits from altering silver coins will lead to a loss of prestige in the long term. Rich Ten emphasizes the importance of the specific rights the royal family would grant them, seeing it as the greatest profit from purchasing their silver coins. Lawrence suggests using this deal as their trump card against Medeo trading, but Rich Ten is unsure. Lawrence then highlights the Trini King's situation, leading Rich Ten to realize the potential consequences if the church attacks them. Lawrence predicts that Medeo trading won't report them due to their affiliation with the Trini King, ultimately suggesting a deal where both parties benefit and Hollow is saved. Them doing business with the King is a clever move, because the king wouldn't want this situation known to the public and drop the value of his kingdom's currency. Also Lawrence was really bold here. Next we see Rich Ten is partly in agreement with Lawrence's plan, but Lawrence acknowledges a flaw, Medeo Trading hasn't gathered all the silver coins yet. Lawrence sees this as exploiting the Trini King's weakness, suspecting Medeo Trading is using cheap schemes to collect coins secretly. He believes they're using Hollow to delay them due to their lack of confidence. Lawrence plans to rescue Hollow and stay on the move until their deal is done. He assures Rich Ten they can avoid detection for two days. Rich Ten believes he can negotiate with the Trini King based on rough estimates and promises to return within two days with the coins. He confirms knowing where Medeo Trading is hiding Hollow. As they head to a carriage, Rich Ten emphasizes the church as their greatest enemy and the urgency of completing their mission before the church acts. I honestly expected that Rich Ten would turn down the offer or something, and Lawrence would need to save Hollow on his own, so I really loved how he literally forced Rich Ten to agree with him just with his words and logic. Moving on we see that before Lawrence leaves, Rich Ten whispers Pyron and Numai into his ear, stressing its importance. Lawrence departs in a carriage with several Milone Trading Company personnel. A Milone Trading Company associate and Lawrence discuss their plan to rescue Hollow. Lawrence will travel through a secret underground pathway toward the endpoint, directly below the building where Hollow is held. They plan to rescue her once the market's opening bell rings. The associate instructs Lawrence to wait for Hollow if he hears Rahi, but to escape if he hears Peruso. Lawrence and his allies reach their destination, and he enters the secret pathway, arriving at the endpoint just before the opening bell sounds, signaling the start of their operation. The world building of this series is truly on another level, like they could have easily removed the password stuff, and it wouldn't have an impact on anything, but just by adding it, they gave some extra layers to the world and its characters. Also Lawrence not backing out despite being afraid, shows how much he cares about Hollow. Then we see Hollow appear and instruct Lawrence to move aside so she can join him. They reunite and retrieve their shares from the Milone Trading Company individual. Together, they head to the other side of the pathway and use a ladder to board the carriage. The gentleman informs them that another person will find a different exit, and they plan to leave town after sharing new details about Medeo Trading. He departs with the bags. Hollow and Lawrence chat during the carriage ride, 
with Hollow expressing disappointment in Lawrence's methods but relief at being safe. She then mentions a human named Yerii who stood up to her during her captivity, expressing hurt over Yerii's disparaging remarks about her being a forgotten relic. Now I understand why Hollow didn't sense Yerii beforehand. It's because Yerii never really followed them, he just learned about the news from Jiren and directly came to Medeo Trading Company. Also it was really sad to see how badly Hollow wants people to remember her. At the end we see Lawrence comforts Hollow, suggesting she view their journey positively as it will help her move forward with her dreams. They then argue over trivial matters, with Lawrence reassuring Hollow that his actions are motivated by financial gain. They arrive at their next destination, where Lawrence instructs a carriage driver to inform Rich Ten that Count Urhandot is connected to Medeo Trading and that wheat dealing merchants in Urhandot's territory should collect the Trini silver coins. Lawrence and Hollow enter a new underground pathway, exchanging compliments as they traverse it. Meanwhile, Yerii and his men search for them, showing Yerii's frustrated expression. Lawrence comforting Hollow despite finding out that his friend betrayed him, was kinda sad, but at the same time it was wholesome, because it shows that Hollow means more to him now. Also Hollow teasing Lawrence was really funny. Overall this was yet another great episode regardless of some minor animation issues. Honestly, this show might become one of my most favorite anime of all time, if it keeps being this good. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.